Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. This is our fifth lecture. In our fourth lecture, we have solved some examples on Cauchy's integral theorem and Cauchy's integral formula. In this session, again we are solving some more examples on Cauchy's integral theorem and Cauchy's integral formula. So these are the formulae we have used to solve um, examples in our previous session. Even in this session, we are going to use these formulae in our problems. Now, let us see one example. First one is evaluate, evaluate counter integral of cos pi z square, cos pi z square upon z minus 1 into z minus 2, where curve C is where curve is a circle, where curve is mod z equal to 3. So, mod z equal to 3 represents a circle. Now, let us solve this integral. So, in this solution, first in the first step, we are finding poles. So, here first write this given integral. Cos pi z square upon z minus 1 into z minus 2 dz. Here also dz equal to what? Now, in second step, we find poles. So, by equating denominator to 0, we can find poles. Denominator is z minus 1 into z minus 2. So, equate it to 0. Then we get z minus 1 equal to 0 and z minus 2 equal to 0. So, z equal to 1 comma 2 or poles. After finding poles, here we observe given curve. Given curve is mod z equal to 3. So, that is a circle. Given curve is mod z equal to 3. So, here this is first step, second step, third step. In third step, we plot given curve. So, here given curve is mod z equal to 3. So, implies this represents a circle with center 0, 0 and radius 3. Radius 3. So, here by equating this z to 0, we can get this center. Right. So, here if z equal to 0, this one, that implies x plus i y equal to 0. So, x equal to 0 comma y equal to 0 is the center. If you compare this, this is 0 plus i 0. That means x equal to 0, y equal to 0 is the center. So, we find like this. So, without writing all these steps, directly you can write center of this circle is 0, 0. And this right side number indicates radius. So, radius is 3. So, if you plot that circle... With center 0, 0 and radius 3. So, here this is origin. Here radius is 3. This is real axis, imaginary axis. Now, what are our poles? Our poles are 1 and 2. So, here 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, this is one pole and this is other pole. So, both these poles, they are lying inside this circle. So, let us see. Here poles z equal to 1. And z equal to 2, they lie inside the circle, inside the circle mod z equal to 3. If they lie inside the circle, to evaluate that integral, we use Cauchy's integral formula. So, here, first let us write this integral, cos pi z square upon z minus 1 into z minus 2 dz. So, before evaluating its value, first let us write in this way along curve c1 cos pi z square. First, if we consider this pole z equal to 1, then z minus 2 write in numerator, then write z minus 1 in the denominator dz. Plus, if you consider this is c1, then if you consider second pole z equal to 2, 
then z minus 2 comes in the denominator. So here pi z square upon z minus 1 upon z minus 2 dz. So both these poles here what is it mean? z equal to 1. Here z equal to 2. These are the poles. Right. So here lies inside here lies inside the circle mod z equal to 3. So if it lies inside the curve inside the circle it also lies inside the circle. If these are lying inside the circle then we use Cauchy's integral formula. Cauchy's integral formula. Here also Cauchy's integral formula. So what is that Cauchy's integral formula? Cauchy's integral formula. What is this? Counter integral law. Fz by z minus a dz equal to 2 pi i into f of a. Here also we have to use the same formula because even z equal to 2 is lying inside the circle. So we apply same formula into f of a. But here when you compare these two, fz means this whole thing, this numerator. This whole thing is f of z. And here a equal to 1. Okay. So here a equal to 1 and fz means numerator. So what do you get here? Here this is equal to 2 pi i according to this formula. 2 pi i into f of a. f of a means this f of z at z equal to 1. That means cos pi z square upon z minus 2 at z equal to 1. Plus here for this integral again 2 pi i here fz means this one. This is fz. Okay. So here f of a means whenever you replace z by a in f of z we get f of a. So here cos pi z square upon z minus 1 at z equal to 2 because here a equal to 2. Okay. Now let us evaluate its value. So which is equal to 2 pi i into cos of pi z square z square means 2 square upon here uh, what is this z equal to 1 so cos pi into 1 square not 2 square cos pi 1 square upon 1 minus 2 whenever you put z equal to 1 plus 2 pi i here cos pi into 2 square upon what is there here in the denominator z minus 1 put z equal to 2 so here upon 2 minus 1. If you simplify these, what do you get here? This is 2 pi i. Here cos pi upon minus 1 plus 2 pi i. Here cos 4 pi upon 1. So here cos pi equal to minus 1 and cos 4 pi. So this is equal to 2 pi i. Here minus 1 by minus 1 plus 2 pi i into 1 by 1. That is here 2 pi i plus 2 pi i. So what do you get? Which is equal to 4 pi i. Therefore, counter integral of cos pi z square upon z minus 1 into z minus 2 dz equal to 4 pi i. Okay. So, let us see next question. Next question is evaluate counter integral of here also cos pi z pi z upon z square minus 1 z square minus 1 dz where curve is where curve is a rectangle 
a rectangle with vertices with vertices 2 plus i minus 2 plus i, 2 minus i minus 2 plus i minus 2 minus i. This is the question. Now, now given integral is integral of cos pi z by z square minus 1 dz. This is to be evaluated. We have to evaluate value of this integral. Now to find poles. So given integral is integral cos pi z by z square minus 1 dz. Uh, here we have to evaluate its value. Find poles by equating denominator z square minus 1 to 0. So here you can write it as z plus 1 into z minus 1 equal to 0. So z equal to minus 1 and plus 1 are poles. So after finding poles we have to plot the curve. So here given curve is what is this given curve is a rectangle. A rectangle. So what are vertices? Vertices are 2 plus i, 2 minus i and minus 2 plus i, minus 2 minus i. What does it mean? 2 plus i means order pair 2, 1. Here this means 2, 1. Here this means 2 minus 1 and here minus 2 plus 1 and here minus 2 minus 1. So let us plot this rectangle. So whenever you plot this rectangle, here first plot these points here 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. Here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on. Here 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. Minus 1, minus 2, 1, 2. So what are these points? 2, 1. 2, 1 means here. Then 2, minus 1. 2, minus 1 is here. This is 2, 1. 2 plus i. This is 2 minus i. Then minus 2 plus i. Minus 2 plus i. Then here minus 2 minus i. That means here minus 2 minus i. So when you join all these, you get a rectangle. Okay. Poles minus 1 and 1, they lie within this rectangle. These poles. So here, z equal to minus 1 and 1. They lie inside the rectangle. They lie inside the rectangle. So, we can write this integral cos pi z. Here, counter integral of cos pi z upon z square minus 1 dz can be written as cos pi z upon z square, z plus 1. What is z square minus 1? z plus 1 into z minus 1 dz along curve c. This can be written as along curve c1 cos pi z by z minus 1 upon z plus 1 at pole z equal to minus 1 plus counter integral c2 along c2 cos pi z by z plus 1 upon z minus 1 dz. Okay. So, here what does it mean? z equal to minus 1 is the pole. Here pole is z equal to 1. Here this lies inside. Lies inside the curve. Here also lies inside. If these poles lies inside the curve, then we have to use Cauchy's integral formula fz by z minus a dz equal to 2 pi i into f of a, this one. Even here we have to apply same formula, counter integral of f of z upon z minus a dz equal to 2 pi i into f of a.
So if you apply this formula here, what do you get? 2 pi i. What is f of z here? f of z is nothing but this numerator. Here f of z means this numerator. Okay. So here we should write cos pi z upon z minus 1. We have to find its value at this pole z equal to minus 1 plus 2 pi i. Again here f of z means cos pi z upon z plus 1 here. Cos pi z upon z plus 1. Again we have to find its value at z equal to 1. So here at z equal to 1. Okay. So let us find its value which is equal to 2 pi i. Here cos pi by what is its value? Z equal to minus 1. So, cos pi into minus 1 upon minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 pi i cos pi into plus 1 upon here 1 plus 1. Here this is Z plus 1. Right? So, de here denominator contains Z plus 1 and we have to put Z equal to 1 here. So, cos pi into 1 by 1 plus 1. That means here 2 pi i cos of minus pi upon minus 2 plus 2 pi i cos of pi upon 2. That means here 2 pi i cos minus pi is nothing but cos pi by minus 2 because cos minus theta equal to cos theta. Now here this 2 and 2 you can cancel. Then this one is pi i into cos pi. Here you can cancel. So here minus pi i into cos pi plus pi i into cos pi which gives 0. So here counter integral of cos pi z upon z square minus 1 dz value of this integral is 0. Even though these singular points they are li lying inside the rectangle value of the integral is 0 in this case. Now let us see third question. Evaluate evaluate counter integral of z square plus 1 upon z square minus 1 dz where curve is here three curves are given. First one is circle mod z equal to 3 by 2 and second one is the circle mod z minus 1 equal to 1. Third one is the circle mod z equal to 1 by 2. So, let us solve 1 by 1. First, let us consider first curve mod z equal to 3 by 2. So, before considering this curve, let us write this integral. We have to evaluate here z square plus 1 by z square minus 1 dz. So, here poles to find poles. Here poles are similar for all these three curves. So, here no need to find poles again and again. Here poles are z square minus 1 equal to 0 implies z plus 1 into z minus 1 equal to 0. So, z equal to minus 1 and plus 1. Okay. So, you have to find poles by equating denominator to 0. So, these are poles. So, after finding poles, here given curve is, what is given curve? Mod z equal to 3 by 2 is a circle, is a circle with center 0, 0 and here radius is 3 by 2. Radius is 3 by 2 means radius 3 by 2. Okay, so let us plot this circle here. When you plot this circle, what do you get here? 1, 2, 3 by 2 means 1.5. So here 1, let us say this is 2. Here real axis and imaginary axis. Here 1, here 2, here this point is 1.5 which is equal to 3 by 2. Okay, this one, this point. Now center is origin. Now, let us check our poles. What are these poles? Here, minus 1 and plus 1. So, minus 1 and plus 1. They are lying inside the curve. So, here, z equal to minus 1 and plus 1. 
they lie inside inside the circle which circle mod z equal to 3 by 2 so first let us write this integral in terms of both the poles so here z square plus 1 by z square minus 1 dz can be written as counter integral along c1 so before splitting in this manner first let us write factors of z square minus 1 factors of z square minus 1 or z plus 1 into z minus 1 so here along c1 z square plus 1 by z minus 1 upon z plus 1 dz plus counter integral along c2 z square plus 1 by z plus 1 upon z minus 1 dz right now here here this is lying inside again this one also lies inside when they lie inside the circle then we have to apply which formula okay let us write separately here f of z by z minus a dz equal to 2 pi i into f of a. Here also counter integral of f of z by z minus a dz equal to 2 pi i into f of a. Okay. Here in this case f z is this numerator and here this one is f z. Right. Here z equal to minus 1 and here z equal to plus 1. So, you have to put these values in f of z. So, what do you get here? Which is equal to 2 pi i, 2 pi i. Here, f of z. Here, first write f of a z. Then, put z equal to minus 1. So, what is f of z? z square plus 1 upon z minus 1. At z equal to minus 1. Plus 2 pi i. Here, z square plus 1 upon z plus 1 at z equal to 1. So, let us find values of these integrals. So, which is equal to 2 pi i, then here z square plus 1. What is that step? z square plus 1 by uh, z minus 1 at z equal to minus 1 plus 2 pi i into z square plus 1 by z plus 1 at z equal to 1. That means here 2 pi i here minus 1 whole square plus 1 upon minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 pi i here 1 square plus 1 upon 1 plus 1. So, what do you get here? 2 pi i minus 1 whole square means plus 1. 1 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 2 plus i 1 plus 1 by plus 2. That is here, what do you get? 2 by 2, 2 pi i into 2 by minus 2 plus 2 pi i into 2 by 2. Right, which is equal to minus 2 pi i plus 2 pi i. Minus 2 pi i plus 2 pi i, which is equal to 0. Now, let us see next point. Here, what is next curve? Next curve is here no need to find poles again. We can take same poles. Here second curve is mod z equal to mod z minus 1 equal to 1. Here mod z minus 1 equal to 1 is the curve. Is a circle with center. How do you find center? By equating z minus 2 z minus 1 to 0 with center 1 0 and radius 1 and radius 1. How do you get this center? Here to get center equate z minus 1 to 0 implies z minus 1 z equal to 1 implies z equal to 1. That means x plus i y equal to 1 plus i into 0 implies x comma y equal to 1 comma 0. This is the center. Okay, 1 0 is the center and radius is 1. So, let us plot that curve. So, if you plot that curve, 
here 1 2 3 so on x axis y axis this one is origin here center is 1 0 and radius is 1 that means you get circle like this center is 1 0 and radius is 1 so here what are poles z equal to minus 1 and plus 1 are poles so, here 1 lies inside this circle but minus 1 lies outside. So, here z equal to 1 lies inside and z equal to minus 1 lies outside. Okay. Now, let us write this integral. Integral of counter integral of c here z square plus 1 by z square minus 1 dz equal to counter integral of z square plus 1 by here you can write factors z plus 1 into z minus 1 dz along curve c again this can be written as along curve c1 z square plus 1 by z minus 1 upon z plus 1 dz plus along c2 here z square plus 1 by z plus 1 upon z minus 1 dz. Right. Here pole is z equal to minus 1. Here z equal to 1. This is the pole. And what is fz? This one is fz. And here even this one is fz. Now let us see. What is this? This lies outside. Here lies inside. If it is lying outside, what is the formula? Cauchy's integral formula? Fz by z minus a dz equal to 0 if pole lies outside. If pole lies inside, then Fz by z minus a dz equal to 2 pi i into f of a. This is the formula when pole lies inside the curve. When pole lies outside the curve, value of that integral is 0. So, here which is equal to 0 plus 2 pi i into, here what is f of z? z square plus 1 by z plus 1 at z equal to 1. Find its value. So, let us find its value which is equal to 2 pi i into z square plus 1 by z plus 1 at z equal to 1. So, what do you get? 2 pi i into 1 square plus 1 by 1 plus 1. So, both will get cancelled because what is this? 1 square plus 1 by 1 plus 1 means 2 pi i into 2 by 2 which is equal to 2 pi i. Now, let us see third curve. What is this third curve? Mod z equal to 1 by 2. Mod z equal to 1 by 2. So, here also what is this? This is a circle. This is a circle with center. Here if you find only z in this mod, then center is origin 0, 0 with center 0, 0 and radius 1 by 2. Radius 1 by 2. And poles are poles are z equal to minus 1 and plus 1. Now let us plot this circle. When you plot this circle here, what is this radius? Radius is 1 by 2. So here this one is plus 1 by 2. This is 0 minus 1 by 2. So minus 1 also this is minus 1. Let us say this is plus 1. So minus 1 and plus 1 both are lying outside the circle. So here z equal to minus 1 and 1 they lie outside the circle. Lie outside the circle. Therefore outside the circle. Then by Cauchy's integral theorem. Cauchy's integral theorem.
counter integral of fz by z minus a dz equal to 0 when points they lie outside this circuit. So, let us write this integral again. So, counter integral of z square plus 1 by z plus 1 into z minus 1 dz equal to here counter integral of along c1 z square plus 1 by z minus 1 upon z plus 1 dz plus along c2 z square plus 1 by z plus 1 upon z minus 1 dz. So, here also this is z equal to minus 1 lies outside and here z equal to 1 lies outside, outside the circuit. Okay, that means here integral fz by z minus a dz is 0, here also integral fz by z minus a dz equal to 0, you have to apply these formula. So, value of this integral 0 and even value of second integral is 0, therefore counter integral of z square plus 1 by z square minus 1 dz equal to 0 if curve is mod z equal to 1 by 2. Okay. Now, let us see next question. Next question is. Next question is. Fourth one. Here curve is not given in this question. So, here question is like this. Evaluate counter integral of z square plus 2z minus 2 upon z minus 4 dz. Here where z equal to 4 is inside the curve C inside the curve C. Here, curve is not given, but it is mentioned that this pole or this singular point, it is lying inside the curve C. So, no need to plot a curve or no need to draw a curve. So, let us see its solution. So, here to get pole equate denominator to 0. So, here z equal to 4 is the pole. Now, what is given? Given that, given that z equal to 4 lies inside the curve. Inside the curve. Therefore, by Cauchy's theorem, by Cauchy's formula, Cauchy's formula. What is Cauchy's formula? If z equal to a lies inside the curve, inside the curve, then counter integral of fz by z minus a dz equal to 2 pi i f of a. We have used this. Here there is only one pole. That's why I have written formula like this. Now, counter integral of here z square plus 2z mi minus 2 upon z minus 1 dz equal to. Here, only one pole is there. That's only z minus 1 is there in the denominator. So, no need to uh, write this as a combination of integration along c1 and integration along c2. Here, when you find it more than one factor in the denominator, then we write this integral as integral along C1 plus integral along C2 plus so on, according to number of poles, right. So, here, what is f of z here? This numerator is f of z, okay. So, here, what is this pole? Sorry, this is z minus 4, not 1, z minus 4. So, what is value of pole? z equal to 4 is the pole. Right. So, what do we get according to this formula? 2 pi i into z square plus 2 z minus 2 at z equal to 4. That means 
2 pi i into 4 square plus 2 into 4 minus 2. So, what do you get? 2 pi i into here 16 plus 8 minus 2. So, 2 pi i into here 16 plus 6, 24. Uh, 24 or 22. What is this? 16 plus 8 minus 2. So, here you get 22. 22. Which is equal to 44 pi i. Right. This is the solution. Next question is fifth question. Evaluate. Quantum integral of 1 minus 2 z by z into z minus 1 into z minus 2 dz where curve is mod z equal to 3 by 2. So, according to our procedure, first let us find poles. So, by equating denominator to 0, we can find poles. Here, there are 3 factors in the denominator. So, we get 3 poles. So, here poles are z into z minus 1 into z minus 2 equal to 0. Equate denominator to 0. So, you get z equal to 0, z equal to 1 and z equal to 2. That means z equal to 0, 1, 2 are poles. Right. Then, here, what is this curve? Given curve. Given curve is mod z equal to 3 by 2. What is this? This is a circle. With center 0, 0. And radius 3 by 2. Let us plot this. Let us plot here. 3 by 2 means 1.5. Let us say this is 3 by 2. 1. Here this is 3 by 2. That is 1.5. 3 is 1. Then here this is minus 1. Minus 2 so on. So what are these points? Here poles. This one is a pole. 0 and plus 1 and plus 2. So, here two poles they are lying inside this uh, circle and one pole is lying outside the circle. So, here z equal to 0, 1 lie inside and z equal to 2 lies outside. Now, let us write this integral. So, counter integral of 1 minus 2 z upon z into z minus 1 into z minus 2 dz equal to equal to here counter integral along c1 1 minus 2 z by z minus 1 into z minus 2. First we are considering the pole z equal to 0. So, z comes in the denominator plus counter integral along c2 here 1 minus 2 z by z into z minus 2 because here we are considering the pole z equal to 1 so z minus 1 comes in the denominator plus counter integral along c3 1 minus 2 z upon z into z minus 1 here consider the pole z equal to 2 so here z minus 2 comes in the denominator here, this lies inside. What is this? Z equal to 0. Here, Z equal to 1. Here, Z equal to 2. Pole Z equal to 1. Here, this pole is Z equal to 0. So, Z equal to 0, this lies inside. And Z equal to 1 lies inside the curve. But z equal to 2 lies outside. Right. When curve lies inside the curve, then counter integral of 
एफ जेड बै जेड मैनस ए डी जेड ईक्वल टू टू पै ई एफ आफ एवन हियर इंटीग्रल एफ जेड बै जेड मैनस ए डी जेड ईक्वल टू टू पै ई एफ आफ ए बट हियर वैल्यू आफ दिस जीरो ओके Now let us apply these formula. So what do we get here? Two pi i. Here this one numerator is f of z. So what do we get here? One minus two z upon z minus one into z minus two. At which point? At z equal to zero. Plus two pi i. Here one minus two z by z into z minus two at z equal to one plus zero. So value of last integral is zero. So let us find their values here. Two pi i here one minus zero. When you put z equal to zero here one minus zero by zero minus one into zero minus two plus two pi i into here one minus two by one into one minus two. So what do we get here? This becomes one only, which is equal to Here one, here minus one into minus two plus two. So here two pi i into one by two. Here plus two pi i into minus one by minus one. So this becomes plus one. Here two two will get cancelled. Two pi i plus pi i. So here three pi i is the solution. Solution is three pi i. Next question is sixth question. Evaluate counter integral of z by z minus one into z minus two dz. Given curve is. Mod of z minus two equal to one by two. Mod z minus two equal to one by two. This is the given circle. So here first find poles. Okay. So what are poles? Z minus one into z minus two equal to zero. So here z equal to one comma two are poles. Then what is given curve? Mod z minus two equal to one by two implies. How do you find center? Center is two zero. How equate mod z minus two? He equate z minus two to zero. So z equal to two. That implies x plus i y equal to two plus i into zero. So x value is two, y value is zero. So Two zero is the center, and radius one by two. So here center is two zero and radius is one by two. So let us plot this circle. So when you plot this circle, here x-axis, y-axis, this is zero. Let us say this is one, this is two, this is three, so on. Here this is one point five, two point five. Here, center is two zero. That means this is the center, and radius is one by two. So you get circle like this. Okay. So here radius is one by two. This is two point five. That means this is one point five. Now what are our poles? Poles are one and two. So one is lying outside. This two is lying inside this curve. So here. Z equal to one lies outside, and Z equal to two lies inside. Okay, so let us write this integration of Z by Z minus one into Z minus two dZ equal to along curve C one. Z one by Z minus two upon Z minus one dZ plus along C two. Sorry, here Z by Z minus two. 
here z by z minus 1 upon z minus 2 dz. Here this is lying outside and this one inside. If it is lying outside, its value is 0. According to Cauchy's integral theorem, its value is 0. When it is lies inside, here z minus a dz equal to 2 pi i into f of a. Right? So, here which is equal to here 0 plus 2 pi i. f of a means value of f of z at z equal to 2. So, here z by z minus 1 at z equal to 2. z by z minus 1 at z equal to 2. So, what do you get? 2 pi i into 2 by 2 minus 1 which is equal to 4 pi i. Next question is a bit different. Let us see that question. So, next question is find f of 3.5, f of i, f dash of minus 1 and f double dash of minus 1 if f of a equal to quarter integral 4z square plus z plus 5 by z minus a dz where curve is where curve is the ellipse ellipse x by 2 whole square plus y by 3 whole square equal to 1. So given curve is an ellipse now let us see this question this is a bit different compared to previous questions whatever we have solved. So here what is given f of a equal to counter integral 4z square plus z plus 5 upon z minus a dz. So here f of a equal to counter integral of 4z square plus z plus 5 by z minus a dz equal to 0 when this pole z equal to a is the pole right when this pole lies outside the given curve ellipse by Cauchy's integral theorem. What is Cauchy's integral theorem? Counter integral of fz by z minus a dz equal to 0 if z equal to a lies outside the curve. This is Cauchy's integral theorem. Now, this given counter integral f of a equal to 2 pi i into 4z square plus z plus 5 at z equal to a when z equal to a lies inside the curve lies inside the ellipse. Okay. This is since by Cauchy's formula by Cauchy's integral formula. What is Cauchy's integral formula? Counter integral of fz by z minus a dz equal to 2 pi i into f of a. 2 pi i into f of a when z equal to a lies inside the circuit. Lies inside the curve. This is Cauchy's integral formula. So, according to Cauchy's integral theorem, here this is equal to 0 when z equal to a lies outside. Here this is equal to 2 pi i into this when z equal to a lies inside the ellipse. Okay. Now, let us plot this curve. What is given curve? Given curve is ellipse. x by 2 whole square plus y by 3 whole square equal to 1. So, here x by 2 whole square plus y by 3 whole square. Let us say 1, 2 and 3. Here this is y axis, here minus 1, minus 2, here 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, here minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. Here x by 2, x by 2 means on x axis, here distance from origin is 2 and here on y axis 3. So here if you join these points, we get an ellipse here 3. 
on y axis 3 and on x axis 2. This is an ellipse. Okay. Now, let us check one by one. What is first question? f of 3.5. Okay. So, here f of 3.5 equal to what? So, here f of 3.5 is asked then what is f of a? f of a equal to quantum integral of 4z square plus z plus 5 upon z minus a dz. Now, here f of 3.5 equal to quantum integral of 4z square plus z plus 5 upon z minus 3.5 dz. Put a equal to 3.5. Now, here z equal to 3.5 is a pole. Because by equating denominator to 0, we get poles. So, here z equal to 3.5 is a pole. So, here z equal to 3.5 means what? What does it mean? x plus i y equal to 3.5 plus i 0. That means, that is here x y equal to 3.5 0. Now, let us see 3.5 value of x is 3.5 and value of y is 0. So, 3.5 lies outside this ellipse here when you extend this. Let us extend this. Okay. Here this is 3. 3.5 is somewhere here. This point is 3.5. So, 3.5 lies outside this ellipse. Right. So, here z equal to 3.5 lies outside the ellipse. If z equal to 3.5 lies outside the ellipse, then f of 3.5 is nothing but counter integration 4z square plus z plus 5 upon z minus 3.5 dz which is 0 because this point is uh, on outside of the circle. This point z equal 3.5 exists outside this ellipse. So, f of 3.5 equal to what is value of this? 0. Okay. Now, let us see next question. What is next question? f of i f of i equal to 4z square plus z plus 5 quarter integral upon z minus i dz. Right. So, here what is this pole? Pole is z equal to i. So, here pole is z equal to i. That implies x plus i y equal to 0 plus i into 1. What does it mean? Value of x is 0, value of y is 1. Right? So, implies x y equal to 0 comma 1. So, when you see this ellipse, 0 1, 0 1 point is here. So, here i is lying within this ellipse. Right? Then, here z equal to i lies inside the ellipse. So, when z equal to i lies inside the ellipse, then according to this formula we have seen here, what is that? f of a equal to 2 pi i into 4 z square plus z plus 5 at z equal to a, when z equal to a lies inside the ellipse. So, here f of a, f of a or directly we can write it, f of a equal to quarter integral of 4z square plus z plus 5 upon z minus a dz equal to 2 pi i into value of 4z square plus z plus 5 at z equal to a when a lies inside the ellipse. 
inside the ellipse. So, according to this, we can find f of i, f of i equal to, what do you get? 2 pi i into 4 i square plus i plus 5. Okay? So, here 2 pi i into 4 into minus 1 plus i plus 5. What does it mean? 2 pi i into minus 4 plus i plus 5. So, you get which is equal to 2 pi i into 1 plus i. This is value of f of i. Now, we have to find value of f dash of uh, 1, f dash of minus 1 and f double dash of minus i. So, to find values of these, let us differentiate this one. So, here differentiating, uh, differentiate f of a equal to 2 pi i into 4 z square plus z plus 5. So, why should we differentiate this? Because here if you observe these two points, 1 and minus 1 and minus i, they lie within this uh, ellipse. So, if you see, now we have to find, okay, let us write this step later. So, first let us write the question. Third one is, this is second one and third one is f of my f dash of minus 1 equal to what? And f double dash of minus i equal to what? We have to find values of these two. So, first let us check. Here, minus 1 and minus i, they lie inside the ellipse. They lie inside the ellipse. Okay. So, here, how? Let us see. Here minus 1. Already minus 1 is inside the ellipse. Minus 1. Minus i means this one. This is minus i. So, both these points, they are lying inside the ellipse. That's why here we have to consider first this formula. f of a equal to 2 pi i, this one. And we have to differentiate this. So, after differentiating, we have to put value of minus 1. So, here, let us see. Here, f of a equal to 2 pi i into 4 z square plus z plus 5 at z equal to a when a is inside the curve, inside the ellipse. Okay, we know this. Now, we want f dash of a. So, f dash of a equal to 2 pi i into 8 z plus 1 at z equal to a. Here also when a is inside the ellipse. Now we have double dash of a equal to 2 pi i into derivative of this. Here how do you get this 8z plus 1. Here let us write d by dz of d by dz of 4z square plus z plus 5 at z equal to a. What does it mean? Which is equal to 2 pi i into 8z plus 1 at z equal to a. Okay. Here because these points a is lying inside the ellipse. Here also same reason. And here 2 pi i again d square z by uh, d square by dz square of means second order derivative of second order derivative of 4z square plus z plus 5 at z equal to a. So, what does it mean? If we differentiate it once, we, we got 8z plus 1. So, if you differentiate it twice, you get only 8. That is equal to 16 pi i at z equal to a. Now, let us find f dash of minus 1. Therefore, f dash of minus 1 equal to 2 pi i into 8 into minus 1 plus 1. Put z equal to minus 1. So, here you can write f dash of minus 1 equal to 2 pi i into 8 z plus 1 at z equal to minus 1. That is equal to 2 pi i into here 8 into minus 1 plus 1. So, which is equal to 
2 pi i into minus 7 that is minus 14 pi i. Now f double dash of minus i equal to already this is constant. So we get same value only 16 pi i. So among all these questions whatever we have solved uh, here this question is a bit different. So go through this thoroughly. Now let us uh, solve some more problems. Here we have solved all these problems when order of the pole is 1. But here when order of the pole is more, if that is not 1, then we have to use formula, differentiation formula to evaluate those integrals. So let us see such type of question now. Here evaluate evaluate counter integral of z sec z upon 1 minus z whole square dz. Here curve where where curve is mod z equal to 2. Okay. So here if you observe this first let us find let us write the question. We have to evaluate this integral. Quarter integral of z sec z upon 1 minus z whole square dz equal to what? So first find poles by equating denominator to 0. But whenever we are equating this denominator, just simply 1 minus z equal to 0 implies z equal to 1. But here this is whole square, right? So here... Uh, if you take square 1 minus z whole square equal to 0, if you take it as it is, then implies 1 minus z into 1 minus z equal to 0. So, z equal to 1 comma 1. So, here what does it mean? z equal to 1 is pole of order 2. Pole of order 2. If this is pole of order 2, then to evaluate this integral, we use uh, one formula. What is that formula? Here, counter integral of fz by z minus a whole square dz equal to 2 pi i upon 1 factorial. Here, f dash of a. 2 pi i by 1 factorial into f dash of a. Right. What does it mean? 2 pi i by 1 factorial. Here, f dash of z at z equal to a. Right. That means 2 pi i by 1 factorial. Here f dash of z means d by dz of f of z at z equal to a. At z equal to a. We have to use this formula to evaluate this integral. Okay. Now let us plot the curve first. First we have to check whether this point lies inside the curve or outside the curve. So, what is given curve? Given curve is mod z equal to 2. So, here given curve is given curve is mod z equal to 2 which is a circle. This is a circle which is which is a circle with center with center at origin 0 0 and radius 2 and radius 2. So here if you plot that circle here this is uh, radius is 2 uh, then according to our pole what is the pole? Here this is radius. Let us say this is x axis, y axis and origin. Here pole is z, z equal to 1. This is the pole 1. Right. So, this pole is of order 2. Here z equal to 1 lies inside the circle. Inside the circle. Uh, therefore, quarter integral of z sec z upon 1 minus z whole square dz equal to according to this formula. What is this formula? 2 pi i by 1 factorial d by dz of f of z at z equal to a. So, here 
z equal to m is this one z equal to 1 and this one is f of z here f of z equal to this one this is f of z okay so what do you get here 2 pi i by 1 factorial d by dz of z sec z z sec z at z equal to 1 so we get 2 pi i into derivative of this here you have to apply uv rule d by dx of uv equal to u dv by dx plus b du by dx we have to apply this differentiation formula so 2 pi i into d by dz of here z into d by dz of sec z plus sec z into d by dz of z that means here 2 pi i here z into here d by dx of sec x equal to sec x into tan x so by this formula here you get sec z into tan z plus derivative of z is 1 so we get sec z into 1 right if you take sec z outside here we have to find its value at z equal to 1 at z equal to 1 so here 2 pi i here take sec z common then what do you get here 1 plus z into tan z okay at z equal to 1 so put z equal to 1 now which is equal to 2 pi i sec 1 into 1 plus tan 1 this is required solution for this question now let us see one more question similar type so next one is evaluate evaluate counter integral of e power 2 z upon z plus 1 raised to 4 z plus 1 raised to 4 dz so here what is the pole pole is here we can find pole by equating this bracket to 0 so here how do you find pole z plus 1 equal to 0 implies z equal to minus 1 what is its power 4 so here z equal to minus 1 is pole of order 4 pole of order 4 here what is given curve is curve is mod z equal to 2 so that means here curve is a circle with center 0 and a radius 2 x axis y axis let us say here is this is 1 here minus 1 minus 2 ok so here z equal to minus 1 lies within this circle right here curve is curve is mod z equal to 2 uh, which is a circle which is a circle with center with center 0 0 and radius 1 as radius 2 ok now according to this formula we know here f of z by z minus a raised to 4 dz equal to 2 pi i upon 3 factorial f triple dash of a f triple dash of a that means what is what is this mean 2 pi i upon 3 factorial into third order derivative of f of z value of third order derivative of f of z at z equal to a right so we have to find third order derivative so here what is this f of z now compare let us compare this here if you compare what is f of z e power 2 z upon z plus 1 raised to 4 dz this is given question given integral now when you compare this f of z equal to e power 2 z here f of z equal to e power 2 z 
f dash z means first order derivative that is 2 e power 2 z f double dash z equal to 1 more here 2 into 2 into e power 2 z 4 e power 2 z right in the similar way f triple dash z equal to 8 e power 2 z when you here differentiate e power a x you get e power a x into a so here e power 2 z derivative of e power 2 z is e power 2 z into derivative of 2 z that, that is 2 if you differentiate it again one more 2 comes here 2 into 2 becomes 4 if you differentiate thrice here 4 into 2 becomes 8 8 e power 2 z okay now this is equal to so according to this formula here 2 pi i upon 3 factorial 3 factorial into f triple dash of z that is 8 e power 2 z at z equal to what is pole z equal to minus 1 because here z equal to minus 1 is a pole okay then we get 2 pi i upon 3 factorial means 6 how 3 factorial equal to 3 into 2 into 1 okay now here 3 pi i by 6 into 8 e power here put z equal to minus 1 so e power minus 2 so here you can cancel this 3 times here 4 times which is equal to 8 pi i upon 3 8 by 3 pi i into e power minus 2. You can write this e power minus 2 in the denominator also. When you write it in the denominator, you get 8 pi i upon 3 e square. So, in this session, we have discussed uh, 9 examples on Cauchy's integral theorem and Cauchy's integral formula. In next session, let us solve some uh, 4 questions on the same concept. Uh, then, uh, let us see introduction of uh, residues. Thank you.